Hey everybody, Hecurus here. Welcome back to the Long Dark version 2.58 series, and uh, this will be episode number seven. So we're just doing a little bit of inventory maintenance here. We're gonna throw some of our cloth over here. Could probably maybe take a look at our clothes, make sure we don't need to repair anything. We got plenty of uh, items to use if we do. We got plenty of sewing kits, plenty of cloth. So let's throw one of these sewing kits over here. Uh, torch. Throw that over there. We can de deconstruct that later if we want to. Lines and hooks. Don't really need to be carrying all this fishing tackle around with us. I'll make a fishing tackle. I always like, I'll, I'll try to carry one fishing tackle around because they're so lightweight. But uh, what else have we got here? Nothing else really. Throw the feather in there. Five feathers. So we can almost make two ar arrows. We need three feathers per arrow. Throw the fur firewood in here. Just transfer all. I can't do it all, can I? It's too heavy. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll throw it down here right in front of the bench. I'll just drop it here. There we go. And uh, what else can we use for crafting? Anything else? I'm sure that there are more items. Maybe there aren't. Let's do a quick scan here. We're down to 40 pounds again, which is actually less than what we left with. So probably probably the water, the lack of water now accounts for that. Um probably use, I really don't want to use a fir wood from boiling water, but I just might. And we don't have that much time left in the day. If it's like really, really nice out, I might make a go of it. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's not very nice at all. And there's a dog. So because I haven't actually, well, I did rest, didn't I? He's just waiting for me. He's waiting for me. That's okay. We, uh, we do want to shoot another Wolf, 61% uh, cured, 35% cured. Hides are... Oh, that one's cured. Cool, okay. Um, yeah, we're getting really close to being ready to start crafting some really decent clothing. So let's let's head down here. I want to double check on how much I need for a f the wolf coat. If I could get a wolf coat and some uh, deerskin boots, I'd be in real... I'd be really happy. I know. There's two for that, plus four guts, and uh, four for that, and four guts. So I do need two more wolf skins. So we're going to be shooting some wolves today, getting those guts high, uh, curing. Might actually try to do that right now, before I go to bed, just to get a jump on it. I think that's actually a really smart idea. Um, I don't really like this the way things are looking outside, because it's kind of hard to see them coming at me, but... I don't know. Let's take another peek outside, see where he's at. If I can get him get him right at the front doorstep, that'd be great. Oh, he's going after that deer. That's a lot of resources right there. Depends on where he gets them. Come back this way. He's going to catch him right there. That might be worth it. I think that's worth it. We're going to get some extra guts and stuff. Even if I get hypothermia, I think it's worth it. He should get him just over this hill. There he is. Nice. Oh. Headshotted him and he's still talking to me. Alright, let's grab a hide. Oops, not meat. Hide. Let's use our proper tool. And a couple guts. It's going to be 50 minutes. We're going to be cold. Could make a little fire. That's okay. We'll go inside, warm up, come back out, rinse and repeat. Let's get the deer hide real quick. Lucky for us, nothing's going to come in. Let's go inside and warm up real quick here. And for a couple hours, and we'll come back out. If we have to do this at night, so be it. Not too. Oh, this is there's another wolf right there. See it? Another wolf. Wait. Oh, another the third one. Okay, that one took off. Okay, we got two wolves out here. I need to get inside and get warmed up. There's, they're coming out in packs now. Wow, this place got infested. Woo. 
That was a little freaky. I heard them off to my right. I thought the one that was growling at me initially was the one I was looking at, but they were doing the whole, you know, Jurassic Park raptor trick on me there. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and drop that one of these here real quick. I don't know where my wolf pelts are. Okay, there they are. Okay. Wow. Let's drop that. We'll drop this up here, I think. We got this right here, I think. Yes, there they are. Drop a hide there. Here we go. Get them curing while I'm messing about. Okay, let's rest for a couple hours here. How are we doing for food? And we're starting to get hungry here. Um, let's eat some cattails. Got a ton of those. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. We need to be under the food category. There we go. Just enough to let us rest for another three hours or so. And we'll cook up some of the meat that we're accumulating here, too. We got a lot of meat sitting out there, so tonight is going to be grabbing. I don't really want to leave the meat out there, but that's okay. Let's get warmed up a little bit here. We'll go out and grab the. Uh, they're not going to. The cut, guts aren't going to disappear. That's a thing. It's just the meat. So I probably should technically be going off and grabbing the meat. Um, let's see if they're just. There's tons of wolves out. I don't know. Seems like uh, when the sun went down, because I don't travel much at night ever. And I haven't done it, I don't think, for, since these updates. So maybe there's a lot of wolves out here now. Let's see if we can grab this. I'll probably end up using a flare if I have to. Well, I don't know. I still need another. There he is. Okay. Negative 26. Let's just grab the hide off of this guy and get back inside. Cold, freezing. There it goes. Okay. Let's get back inside. Kind of disoriented. Okay, I think I'm over here. There it is. Yeah, the snow's not too bad at night now. They're a little. I think. I still think they're a little too big. Let's get inside. All right, very good. Drop that hide here again. So we got our four hides. We're gonna have a much nicer coat. Should make things easier. All right, there we go. All right, let's just lick our wounds and and get some sleep. Eat a few more of these uh, cattails. Glad I grabbed them. There we go. Could get a fire going, but I really don't want to bother with that right now. Just want to rest. Thirst is a well, no. We'll get another drink here. Here we go. I'm not sure how much time we have left here at night, but our conditional start moving up there. There we go. 98% condition, much better. Thirst is starting to become an issue. We're out of water, but we do have a can of pop. It doesn't do a whole lot for you. Uh, still got lots of meat. This is We're going to eat this venison first. It's pretty starting to get sketchy. But uh, let's go out and get the guts and some more meat here. How much room do we have? 38 pounds. That's really good. Let's see if we can do this without, you know, bringing in the wolves. If I have to shoot another wolf, I guess I will. But, geez, I'm just starting to accumulate body parts here. It's like my... It's like my front doorstep is nothing but a... Butcher shop out here or something. Frozen, yeah. What's the temperature? Negative 20, that's not good. Grab the guts. There I am freezing again. Let's see if we can go up and grab these. This might just be a hypothermia situation. Let's see, I, I just don't want to lose these. That's the problem. There's a wolf down there. I don't want to lose these. Keep an eye on him. Oh, don't turn that way. What do you know? 
Looks like I survived another night. Okay, he's still there. Do another one. I'm probably going to be hypothermic. But I don't want to lose these. I don't want them to just suddenly disappear. I don't know how long they last. That's my problem. Okay, let's go back inside and get warmed up. Not hypothermic yet. So we got all the hides, I think, and guts. Now we just need to harvest the meats, which they really don't take that long, actually. So let's go inside, rest until we get back up to a 90 or higher condition. Okay, so where's our guts pile up here? Six guts. Oh, yeah, we're doing good. How's our branches doing? Oh, cured maple saplings. We, oh, we're going to start making some cool stuff here, people. We are going to start making some cool stuff. Okay, let's uh, rest for a few hours. Here. You know what? Let's do the fire. Let's get the water going. Freezing, starving. Let's cook up some of this meat. I am actually going to use a fur firewood. Maybe. Probably. Because I'm going to use some of these sticks, too. Okay, there we go. Of course, I... No, you know what? Forget that. Why am I doing that? Let's use the fire log, not the fur firewood. Uh, let's drop the fur firewood so I don't use it by accident. Because I have a habit of doing that. And let's go ahead and grab our meat that we want to cook. And we're going to get all nice and... Oh, I got hypothermia. I do. Oh, okay, we're going to have to be very careful about... We're going to have to get ourselves cured up here. Don't want to die hypothermia now. Not at this stage. Okay, let's go ahead and start it with the uh, sticks there. 76% chance. That looks good to me. We'll cook ourselves up a piece of meat. Eat it. Get ourselves some more water. Uh, move from, move on from there. Got plenty of fur wood. I should be able to get myself gallons of water if need be. I really only need a couple pieces of fur wood to repair hatchets and uh, repair hatchets and and uh, the rifles and whatnot. So, okay, let's uh, add that fire log, log there. That's nice. Gotta love that. Okay, let's get our food first. That'll help warm us up too. We're gonna eat first. Okay, eat that. See, it bumps it back up to 74% condition, which is perfectly fine. All right, let's continue. It's really cold. It's old. This fire's only burning at 34 degrees. I'm still freezing. How am I freezing? 34 degrees in here. Uh, let's cook up some beans or something. I need to cook up some. You know what? Let's get in here and get some rest. Because I think we need to actually warm up quick. With the fire going, that hour should help us warm up. I know I'm sacrificing an hour of burn time, but I'm adding 10 degrees to uh, my situation here. Okay, so I'm no longer... Alright, let's get take care of our thirst. Let's get some... Uh, water going here. Oh, I only have 12 minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we will be using the... There we go. No, let's put this away. I want to accidentally light that. Reclaim the wood. Let's add that. There we go. Let's get some water real quick. Just to put two gallons because I'm dehydrated now. It's going to start decreasing my condition even more. There we go. Boil water. Point two gallons. Getting tired need to recover my condition up. I'm not worried about the meat now that's sitting outside. I'm more concer concerned about my medical condition. Let's, let's get a drink. I do have water purification tablets had I needed them. But uh, we should be okay. 42 minutes. Should be able to do two more steaks here real quick. Exhausted. That'll actually start decreasing my condition a little too. Being exhausted. But I am going to cook these last two pieces of steak. And then I'm going to let the fire go out. And I'm just going to sort of lick my wounds here. And get my condition back up to a safe level. So there we go. One minute left on the fire. 44 degrees. Cold's fine. Hunger. Let's go ahead and eat those steaks here real quick. Nobody can say we're hungry now. Okay, let's put that other one away so I don't attract a wolf by accident by taking it outside. 
There we go. How much water do I have left? Not much. But that's okay. Let's just uh, get some rest here real quick. Do I still have a fire? No, it's out. There we go. Let's get a few hours of sleep here. I do need to wake up, make some more uh, water. Unfortunately, the exhaustion was causing me to have to go to bed. 35% condition. Okay, good. So, it's good that we have the fir wood, I'll tell you that much. Because uh, we're going to probably need it here. Alright, what else we got? We got that fir wood, we got the sticks. Let's light up some sticks here, get some more water going. So this fire is going to be for water. Unfortunately, we got interrupted during our last uh, fire with uh, exhaustion. But we needed to definitely take care of our food situation, and we needed to take care of our... Uh, Oh, come on. And we needed to take care of our, uh... Thirst. Okay. This game really is all about making wise decisions, not taking unnecessary risks and prioritizing. If you can do those things well, which I haven't done in the last few series that great. Uh, since the 50 day challenge, I honestly haven't done that great. But uh, if you can do those things well, it seems like this, this game does really reward you pretty well. Yeah, I'll throw that one on there. Because I do want to make a boatload of water. Let's do 0.6 gallons at least. That's not really a boatload. I'd like to have about four or five gallons of water just sitting there. Exhausted again. Okay. I don't want to waste this fire even though I am exhausted. I'll take a 2% condition hit if I have to. No, apparently not. Okay, 43 minutes left. Uh, let's cook up two more steaks. So we have, No, you know what? Let's do some more water. We got plenty of steaks. We can we can always if we have to we can always try to eat them all. Let's melt another point four, and we're just gonna rest as long as we stay above freezing for the next twenty four hours. We should be in good shape. I'd really like to go out there and try to get. Ah, oh, didn't get it boiled, did I? Oh well, we got sketchy water. We'll we'll boil that off next time. I thought I was gonna have enough time. I didn't even notice the, the time. That was my fault. How much time do we have left here? 15 hours. Alright, so fatigue's our big thing right now. Let's just go ahead and rest. How much time's left? No, we don't know how much how much daylight's left. So let's rest for a good 7 hours. We should be, uh, our condition should be in a nice safe area when we wake up. 68% condition. Got another eight hours to go. Let's just drink. I really hope that the wolf and the the uh, deer, the two wolves and the deer, are still out there, so I can grab the meat. But I really need to take care of my. Uh, I had to take care of my condition first. That's all there was to it. Um, eight more hours. Let's do five hours, and it should be daylight. We can go out and check and see what the weather is. If the weather's really nice, then we can go out there and grab the meat, because it's not going to take that long. It's going to take about 10, 20 minutes, something like that. 88% condition. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Uh, three hours left. <sighs> if, if the wolf's still out there, I don't know. We might grab some of the meat off of it. I don't want to get dropped to freezing again. we got plenty of time, though. We're not cold at all. So let's take a quick look, see if he's still out there. Yep, he is. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can grab this meat real quick. Now, see, with all the blizzard that came through, I figured those footprints would be gone. Because I, I know we were listening to blizzards. Now it's going to take about an hour and ten minutes. Let's just do a little bit here. See where we're at. Cold. Oh, shoot, I'm freezing again. Ah, uh, well, I reset it. Might as well grab the rest. Made it through another night. All right. Well, so much for that. We're back to 24. We reset the hypothermia clock. Stay above freezing for 24 hours. I didn't think it was going to take. I didn't think I was going to freeze that quick. Oh, it is negative 20 degrees. That would help if I actually checked the temperature. That was pretty stupid. Oh well. 
we got meat. We know that the carcass is still out there. Hopefully the other two are still out there. And uh, we'll just come back to them if we, if we can. Um, if not, so be it. I should have just rested the extra three hours. That was dumb. Thirst is a problem here. Let's get a drink. There we go. Uh, hunger's starting to creep up again. Grab another piece of meat here. Good. Let's eat. Oh, that was 15 calories. I wish I'd known that. Okay, well... What else we got here? We got some other goodies in here I can just snack on real quick. MRE, I don't really want to use that. That's going to be my long-range travel food right there. Eh, nothing else I really want to eat. 617 calories. Freezing. Let's just warm up first. That's a 45% condition. Cold fatigue. Okay, yeah. Let's just... I wonder if when you have hypothermia, if your fatigue increases faster because you're not feeling well. Like whenever you're sick, you always you always feel real lethargic and whatnot. So I wonder if that they play take that into consideration. I bet you they do. Knowing knowing a hinterland, I bet you they do. That'd be pretty smart. So you sort of get punished because you don't really feel good. Don't want to move around a whole heck, heck of a lot. Um. Part of me wants to just run out here, see if we can grab a few sticks here, too. Boil up this water, warm up a little. There should be some sticks up here. There's been a storm that came through, so. Each of these is eight minutes of burn time. So that's not too bad. Alright, let's head back inside. Three hundred. Yeah, we're gonna have to cook up some more meat too. I think we're gonna need to actually uh, probably probably gonna bust up this crate actually. How's my cold? That uh, should be all right. So yeah, let's bust up this crate here. Fifteen minutes. Have ourselves reclaimed wood. Tired again. Tail, that's fine. There we go, 78% chance. Yeah, I think if I had waited that extra three hours and got, f you know, fully recovered, I'd be in a much better situation. Right now, I just kind of screwed myself. Now, I wonder if I had left that wolf out there frozen, if he would have been replaced by another... I wonder if there's going to be a new patrol wolf that comes out now that he's completely off of the... out of the game. I fully harvested him. I don't know. I don't know how that works. There we go. Got one hour of burn time here. Let's uh, purify this water here real quick. Forty-four minutes. We can do two steaks. That should be good. Which one's the bad ones? Okay, down here. Okay, let's hurry up here. Screw around too too much. There we go. All right, time to just sit in here for the next twenty-four hours and live knock this hypothermia once and for all. Let's eat. Got plenty of water, plenty of food, in order, or uh, plenty of calories in order to sleep for 24 hours. So let's just go ahead and do that the best we can. Let me double check my thirst. Yep, I uh, do need the drink. Almost pulled a series number one death right there. Let's get some sleep. So it's going to cost me 1,200 calories to sleep for 24 hours, basically. Which leaves us with an extra 400 calories, so we should be good. 84% condition, very nice. Thirst, take care of that. 
Back into bed you go. Time to convalesce. Be interested to see if those other two carcasses are still there. 100% condition, nice. Thirst, drink. Rinse and repeat. That's all we're doing here. We're gonna knock this hypothermia. Could have done it a long time ago, but no. Let me go check. Everything's looking good there. Yeah, okay. Alright, should be midday by the time we wake up here. We should be feeling much better. Let's double check. Yes, no afflictions. All right. Yeah, let's get another drink. Stay hydrated. All right, there we go. All right, let's head on out here. What am I carrying around here? 39 pounds. Uh, how's our pelts doing? 39, 39. Well, at least, wow. At least uh, sleeping that whole time really moved things along with the deer hides. I can actually make the boots now, I think. Yes, I can. Uh, let's go see what the weather is. Maybe we can grab the meat without needing the extra warmth from the boots. If it ha we happen to get an unseasonably warm day, then we can check. We might not even... The, the carcasses might be gone, honestly. It's been a few days. Six degrees, not too hateful. Probably. Let's take a look. Make sure there's no... That wolf isn't around. Kind of get up high here a little bit. Just to get a little better perspective. If I do have to go around the blind corner, at least I like to have the high ground. Did we lose? Oh, no, they're still there. Oh, we should be able to get the meat. Oh, there he is. He's coming. Son of a gun. He's going to go over and start eating on it. That's the problem. I think we might actually want to go ahead and shoot him, too. Okay. Well, if we do, we do. Let's bring him over closer to the cabin. See if I can bring him over. I should be able to. Shouldn't be that hard to. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna drop him right at the front door. Yeah, that was nice. All right, out of my way, son. Oh, we're out of ammo. Let's let's ditch this rifle and switch out. I don't want to reload this rifle because. If I put six rounds into this rifle, it'll deteriorate faster than the... Uh, I'll still have ammo left in it. I know you can unload it now, but I'd rather just uh, drop this rifle and be done with it for now. Until we can repair it. So let's drop that bad boy. Let's pick up this new one. And let's load it up. Very good. Alright, let's go get some meat finally. We're getting, we're getting all kinds of meat and resources here, but... It's almost out of a self-defense type thing. Couldn't pass up on the... Uh, I really couldn't pass it up when I... Uh, negative one degrees. Alright. Well, at least we're not hypothermic anymore. Hypothermic, I should say. I keep saying hyperthermic. Well, actually, I'm kind of mixing it too, I think. It's hypothermia. Hyperthermia is when you're getting too hot. If I'm not consciously saying it, I really sort of get lazy with my pronunciation and it sort of sounds like both of them at the same time. I went back and listened to it and I'm like, geez, I can't even tell what I'm saying. Hypothermic. Alright, let's grab the meat. Uh, let's just do a little bit here. Let's run back inside, get warm. I'm going to make the deerskin boots. Plus, I'm starving. <laughs> Again. Good luck. Thank you, Carl, for the good luck. Ooh, the meat out there is starting to get pretty bad uh surprised because it's actually they're freezing you know it's frozen so it's sort of like frozen food um, okay. do we do have anything we can eat uh not really need to actually cook up some more um yeah 
I'm thinking it will just eat some cattails real quick, but uh, freezing or starving. Let's see if I can gather some more wood real quick here to help supplement. Should be some out here. I think we had a storm. Is there more? No more. No more wood up here. No more easy wood. <laughs> All right, we'll use a fir wood. As much as I hate doing that. Cook up some more meat. Let's grab this really sketchy stuff right there. There we go. And then 42% sure, why not? Six sticks. Daddy's hungry. Come on. Daddy wants to eat some rancid uh, wolf meat. Come on. All right. It's going to happen. Come on. There we go. There goes the freezing, now we're just starving. So let's eat that real quick. No longer starving. Should be able to get a little bit of water here too. You know what, I'm probably going to grab another fir wood, throw it on. How many I, got? I got like one left, okay. Well, I'm going to save that one for crafting. Unless it comes down to a survival situation. Okay, there we go. Hour and 52 minutes, should make quite a bit of water here. Six gallons is what we're starting with. We'll definitely have plenty of time for that. Boil it up. An hour and five minutes left. Now we're going to craft up some boots. We're going to make some new boots. Uh, you know what? I'm going to cook up two more steaks since we have the time. Okay, there we go. If we can, I think we have enough time. Oh, I don't know. Did it go to 39 minutes? It takes 20 minutes. I can always throw a stick on if I have to. Ah, uh, yeah. I just don't have enough time. Just barely. Alright, let's throw one stick on. That way we have uh, extra meat. Should have plenty of cooked meat now for the next uh, couple days at least. Very good. How much water we got? Almost, uh... Almost 0.8 gallons. Four pieces of meat. Uh, full pieces of meat, pretty much. There's, that one's a little small. Not 330 calories. Let's go ahead and eat. Am I hungry? Yeah, oh, yes, I'm hungry and thirsty. There we go. Alright, let's grab something to drink here. Very good, let's put this meat back. Looking pretty good, 42 pounds, like that. Uh, let's go make our boots real quick here. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Cured, I need uh, four guts, I think. Okay, there we go, that should be enough. Everything's in the green, everything's looking real good for condition.
Deerskin boots. There we go. Four. Okay, that's exactly what I need. It's going to take 12.5 hours, so let's do it. Time remaining. Okay, so we, oh, I just did a half hour. Okay. Let's see what our calories are at. Yeah, thirst. Okay. I don't want to, you know, die from exhaustion because I'm sitting here crafting and I don't know when to stop. Uh, let's do another four hours here. I'm going to be crafting in the dark. These are going to be some pretty funky looking boots. Oh, I'm already freezing. Oh, that's right. Oh, if I only had my boots, I wouldn't be freezing. Wow, look at that. Thirst and hunger. But once I have these boots, I'll be able to stand inside this uh, this uh, cabin and not have to worry about freezing inside my own cabin. Alright, so let's get something to drink. There we go. Okay. Let's just rest for six hours. Get our condition back up. Saw our condition drop quite a bit there. I forgot about the freezing factor, honestly. Okay. Cold's back down. Thirst. Let's get another drink. Oh, these boots are going to be nice. Seven degrees of warmth. Once I, uh... Let's see where I'm going here. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's better. Okay. It feels like 35 in here. That's just because I have my lantern. Okay, let's craft in the dark for another few hours. Let's do a... Let's do three hours. See how we're doing then. I don't know. Let's take a look. Condition is 94%. Let's see how much of a hit we take. I want to catch hypothermia while I'm crafting my boots. Hypothermia. It's starting to get cold. Let's head back upstairs. Thirst is okay. I'll get another drink just for good measure. This episode's running a little long, but I want to get these boots done before the start of next episode. Let's rest for three. I have to wonder if that meat's going to be like completely bad by the time we make it out there again. But uh, my priority is the is the boots right now. I gotta be able to stay warm inside my own house. All right. Five hours remaining. I can't go that long. I don't think so. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. How we doing? It's starting to get cold again. Let's go up and warm up again. <laughs> this is. I gotta go. To, I gotta go lay in bed and warm up. Snuggle under the covers. That's thirst. Once the wolf hides get all done too, that's going to be a big bonus as well. So that with this, it's going to make those uh, single digit days pretty tolerable, honestly. Yeah, let's grab some meat here. Got some cooked meat here. Probably go hit the dam, the uh, Carter Hydro Dam next, because I, I do need like a can opener and uh, simple tools and things like that. And I have a feeling that I'll find all those items that I'm sort of lacking there. But we'll save that for the next episode. First things first, let's get these boots done. Then you need a new pair of shoes. There we go. Well, you guys got about 10 minutes of extra footage here <laughs> for this episode. My gosh. Sorry, I don't know what I ate. Alright, let's put them shoes on. Those new boots. Look at that. Look at that. Wear those. Now it feels like it's 33 degrees. It's tolerable, finally. 
And then I need some better clothing, like a better jacket or coat. So that'll be the next project. Let's see if we can go out and harvest. Well, I gotta actually recover. That's one hour daylight left. Ugh. At least my cold's dropping now. I wonder if they're still there. Let me double check here real quick. And we'll call it an episode and we'll, uh, we'll jump off from here. Feels like two degrees, but it'd be a whole lot colder if it wasn't. Oh, hey, buddy. Did I get your hide? I didn't yet, have I? Let's yeah, use the knife. There we go. Freezing. We'll go check the. Uh, we'll go check these guys up here real quick. Are they gone? They might be gone. That's a shame. That's a shame to lose all that meat, but it is what it is. I I, I think I pretty much screwed screwed up when I uh, didn't rest the extra three hours to kick hypothermia, and I had to delay going back out there. So, oh well. How's he have an eight point? I thought I harvested some meat off him. Probably not. Apparently not. Okay. I believe. How, what, what conditions he in? Where's this condition? Does it show his condition? It doesn't, does it? Huh, okay. It might be worth something at add. It might be worth adding uh, the condition of the animal because if you have two animals side by side, you'll know which one you want to start harvesting first. Just a thought. Okay, how many of these do I got? I got like a bunch of them. I got, and then I got this extra one here. So I can use that for repairs on my jack. I got lots of wolf pelts. And they're getting close. They're getting that one's cured. That was 92, 57. We're on the we're well on our way. Let's take a quick look. I know I'm freezing. I know. I know I know. I just want to see what I'm actually warming up though. That's nice at least. That's a slow process, it's not immediate. Wolfskin coat. Twelve degree bonus. That's the that's the Yeah. That's the crown jewels of uh <laughs> of the crafting bench right there for clothing. All right, let's go get some sleep. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I believe this was episode seven. I can't remember. It's been so long. It's been like a whole 40 minutes. So hit that tip jar on the main channel. Uh, if you have to go to the desktop version of of my channel if you're watching on your phone or something like that. But it's on the right-hand side. There's a little tip jar. It says support Accura. Support this channel or something like that. Uh, every little bit helps. Uh, $1, $5. It all adds up. Seriously, it really does. So I appreciate it. I'm trying to save up for a new video card uh, in anticipation of Fallout 4 coming at the end of November. So if you guys can help me out with that. Uh, right now, my disposable income is pretty much all going towards formula and diapers. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.